Hello and welcome to E-Magazine. I'm your host, Brenda Nyamichaba. Reggae music is one of the world's few living folk music. It has remained incredibly popular and spontaneously generated by people's experiences, emotions and traditions. We had explored on E-Magazine what it takes to be able to break into the reggae scene in Kenya, which brought us to the realization of how the reggae music space in Kenya is male-dominated. Now in E-Magazine, we talk about women in reggae today, the struggles they face to build a brand in the male-dominated space, and most importantly, where is reggae music in Kenya going in the next few years? Now, joining me in studios today is a special guest who is a female reggae artist herself, Kathy Matete. Welcome to E-Magazine today. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for coming. How are you doing today? Um, easy. Yeah? <laughs> it's just a little cold in Nairobi. Hey, it's a bit chilly, <laughs> but it's okay. We, st we still gotta get on in life. We gotta, yeah. you know, keep pushing through. Now, yeah. Kathy, tell me about your journey into getting into the music space and specifically focusing on reggae. When did that start? Um, so we all started in church. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the singing choir. I can say that confidently. <laughs> um, but I still sing in church. Mm -hmm. I, I started at a very young age. Mm -hmm. uh, started singing in high school, started singing in primary. Mm -hmm. And um, I think immediately after campus, I, 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 I got into, you know, entrepreneurship here and there. And I met with a guy called Shamir. Mm -hmm. And Shamir linked me up with a guy called DJ Heno, who's one of the biggest reggae artists yes, us, yes. and, uh, and uh, DJs in Kenya. And, uh, you know, one thing led to another and, you know, we started doing rhythms and we, na we are now producing magic. That's amazing. Doing magic. I've actually listened to your music. I love it. Thank you so I do much. listen to reggae, but I, I feel like we're starting to get a whole different Kenyan style into yeah, you know, the reggae. Yeah, yeah, Which brings me to asking you, um, tell me about the music style you do okay. and the, which one you exactly love. So... Uh, right now, I'm focusing on reggae music mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. purely, mm -hmm. but I also love Afrofusion, I love R&B, I love blues, and uh, I feel like Kenyans consume a lot of reggae, and we, you know, we just grew up listening to a lot of reggae music. And so, <laughs> it's very true. Very yeah, true. so now I'm finding myself, you know, mm -hmm. following that direction. Okay. Yeah. And how has it been for you so far? Did you face any challenges getting into that space in the first place? Yes, I did. I mean, like you said, it's a male-dominated mm -hmm. industry, and uh, you know, you just have to force your way in there. <laughs> Uh, they used to say there's no content, you know, branding is, you know, we, we, we are not branded yet. Mm -hmm. But uh, I feel like right now they don't, they really don't have anything else to say because we have content. There's, you know, females coming up and, uh, you know, we want to take our space in the industry on the I table. I'm hoping that happens very yeah. soon. <laughs> now, did you struggle a lot um, trying to build a name for yourself, um, you know, it being male dominated? Uh, I think I'm still struggling mm -hmm. because you know men feel like they 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 wanna they wanna be on top of you mm -hmm. but um i feel like i have this the the support i need right now so from so for, from from most of the djs out there and producers so i can't really say it's has been such a challenge because yeah. You know, I think I have good content. Content. <laughs> I believe in my sound, and uh, I think I'm just ready to give people what they want to listen to and hear. Mm -hmm. You know, something, something good. It's great that you mentioned that. Actually, yeah, um, yeah. do you feel like there's a lot of competition out there for you within that reggae space? There is. There is. There's so many ladies like Cara Farrell was here last week. Yes. You know, <laughs> and she's doing good music. Mm -hmm. You know, not just. Um, her music is really, it really has like good feedback from Kenya and you know out there. Mm -hmm. So the competition is there, but you can't really say that there's really no space for the rest of us who are coming mm -hmm. up. So, mm -hmm. you know, let's just share and you know build the industry. It's not for an individual. Yeah, it's, for it's for everyone. For everyone. I'm, I'm hoping. Is there a collab coming with you and Cara Ferrell in Italy? Yeah, soon? maybe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're good friends. <laughs> So, so that's a good thing. Yeah. Great. Now, yeah. Um, what are some of the sacrifices you found yourself making in order to, you know, get into the space and ensure people like your music and yeah. for it to be successful? So, one of the, I'd say, uh, quitting. <laughs> uh, the, I was a white collar person. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> so I, I quit, you know, one of the jobs I used to do, and you know, it had good money, but uh, I feel like I was born for this. So. That's just one of them. Um, I feel like I, 
I wasn't really giving music the seriousness mm -hmm. it deserved mm -hmm. until this year. And guys were like, wow, Kathy, you well, have you such a like good this. time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what exactly have you been doing with your life this entire mm -hmm. time? So mm -hmm. uh, that was one of them. I'd say um, also just you know, putting myself out there and meeting new people, mm -hmm. uh, meeting people who who run, you know, the reggae industry and the music industry. So, you know, it's just, you know, j not just sitting in your, being in your comfort zone. Okay. I'd say I've really just, you know, gone out there and yeah. met. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, A lot of the people. influencers, yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. now, um, now that you mentioned that you quit your white collar job too. Yes pursue music um, <laughs> full-time. How long ago was that? And why are you really scared of making that decision? Because I've noticed, you know, you tend to come across a lot of people who yeah. are stick to a white-collar job because mm -hmm. they're scared their passion won't be able to bring them, yeah. you know, that income they're right. trying to get right. as well. Um, <laughs> 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 it wasn't such an easy decision. Uh -huh. You know, you have your mom there who's always like, ah, need to me a rent, mm -hmm. you know, like I need, you know, I need something over yeah. here. So it's something that, you know, I just had to come to terms with and I was like, you know, music is bigger than me. Yeah. So I just have to sacrifice this and just go out there. It, it doesn't matter how long it takes. You just know, I'm just, I'm, I'm just ready. I, I'm ready. I'm ready for, Whatever for anything. Comes. Yeah. So that was like, what? That was, um, I think early this year or late last year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And, uh, That's amazing. <laughs> well, I hope it's going so well. Uh, it it's is. going well so far it for is. you, right? It is. Now, do you, f do you feel like um, people, Kenyans in general, value reggae music here as much as, you know, globally? What? Are you kidding? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I'm guessing that's a yes. 100%. A hundred percent. Like, you cannot miss a reggae song or a reggae mix in mm -hmm. a matatu mm -hmm. or in a bus mm -hmm. or in a club mm -hmm. or in a restaurant. Yani, reggae music is always being played in Kenya. Everywhere. Kenyans consume Especially matatus. a lot of reggae music. I, I don't know. Do you love reggae music as well? I listen to reggae music. You do? I do listen to reggae music. But yeah. I specifically like... Um, you know, the old school reggae. Old school I wouldn't say into rhythm. Rhythm, yeah. not as much. Okay. But proper soul music. <laughs> I, I like it. I'm an old soul. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think is, uh, what is the reggae space in Kenya doing right, right now? Uh, doing right? Mm -hmm. um, well, the DJs mm -hmm. are um, trying to embrace the dub culture. So the dub culture, I mean, um, Dub culture has always been there, you know, in Jamaica mm -hmm. and in also in other states. So it's when um, you have like a song that is very big, yeah. you know, like a Tana mm -hmm. song, Weakness in yeah. Me. And then there's a DJ who wants you to just praise them in that particular song. Mm -hmm. So you take that song and you put um, like the sound system, the sound system's name. Okay. So if it's Empire Sound, you know, I'm not, I say what, Empire Sound is like a river. Wow. So instead of saying, you know, my love for you is like a river, okay. una praise that particular okay. sound. Yeah. So the dub culture, you know, is really trying to change things. And DJs as well are trying to come up with rhythms and work with producers to, you know, promote these young talents and musicians who are trying to come up. And, uh, you know, when a DJ has a rhythm out, you know, they go looking for artists to kwa grassroots. Okay. So people who really have, you know, good sound and good music, and they try to promote that. Mm -hmm. So they're really, you know, there's so much that is happening. There's also a lot of shows. You know, there's reggae in the sun. You know, yes. that's like one, one of the biggest... One thing I with yeah. reggae music, mm -hmm. concerts happen like every week. And weekend, they are usually day. packed. <laughs> Let me tell you, they're usually yeah. packed. Now, if you're speaking of concerts, is that yes. something you do yourself? Myself, Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. um, I was in a band for the longest time. The band was called Tune Band. You know, it's a band that uh -huh. I respect a lot because it has nurtured my music. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we used to do a lot of shows. A lot of gigs, not just in Kenya, but also just, you know, doing tours in East Africa. We toured with Christ Afara, it's a gospel reggae band. Mm -hmm. So it's something that I'm doing and, you know, I'm hopefully, hope, I'm That's praying amazing. Amazing. to have, you know, like, uh, like to.